I'm at Cox Tour at the moment, just for a little wander. Misty, it's spitting quite light. There's a little bit of a wind. Um, testing out my new microphone. So we'll see. I thought I'd tell you a bit of a story today uh, about Gog Magog. He was a giant and he had a fight up on Plymouth Hoe uh, with a Trojan soldier called Corneus. Corneus was um, quite skillful, but Gog Magog, just for pure size and strength, um, you know, kind of had the upper hand. Yeah, he was about three times taller than an average man, so quite a tall boy. Um, so anyway, yeah, they, they had a fight up on Plymouth Hoe. There is a spoons on the Barbican in Plymouth called Gog Magog. Um, I don't know, just commemorate him, I guess. Um, and I don't know if it's still there, but I know years ago they used to have a um, sort of a, a lawn painting on a patch of grass up on the hoe um, of um, two people fighting. And it wasn't until recently I realised that it was Gog Magog and Corneas. So there's a little bit of fun fact for you there. I say fun. Uh, anyway, Gog Magog um, managed to get Corneas into like a, a bear hug sort of grip and um, kind of get him down to the floor and whatnot. They had a they had a tussle, but Corneas managed to build up the strength and picked Gog Magog up. And he walked over to the cliff edge that was there on the hoe at the time, apparently, and threw him over the cliff edge and onto some rocks where obviously Gog Magog uh, died. Apparently, the sea stained red for miles across um, with Gog Magog's blood. And um, after witnessing that wrestling match up on the hoe, all the other giants, um, you know, themselves, got scared. They decided to flee. So, a portion of them went to Cornwall to live, and a portion went up onto Dartmoor to live. Um, and there are other tales of giants um, on Dartmoor and in Cornwall, obviously. Uh, but there's one that I really like, and he was called Blunderbuss, and he lived on. Ding at all. Um, and it's a story about how Devon kind of got a delicacy, I guess. So, yeah, that's for another video. Well, that's pretty much the story of Gog Magog, uh, who he was, why he became a, f a famous giant. Um, I mean, why don't we have giants anymore? I mean, well, obviously they got hunted to extinction, like the dodo or something. Imagine if we had giants around now. Be quite big, wouldn't it? But I don't know. I think I'd probably be a bit wary of them. Um, I'm scared of things that are bigger than me, you know. <laughs> I don't like cows, I don't like horses, just because I know I can't take them. Um, definitely won't be able to take a giant. So, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the little story. I might think about doing some more because why not? I like, I like myths and legends, so why not? Cool. I think that's it then.